with Alex Sayer. Uh, Richard Bailey, Peak District Moreland Group, uh, second day at uh, British Shooting Show, uh, here with the NGO Moreland Branch, and if we'd like to come this way, we'll have a look at uh, what our display is for this year. We, we have got um, old snares here uh, for fox control, showing this isn't best practice, and we're losing it in um, Scotland and Wales. Uh, we need to be changing to code compliant, humane cable restraints. So we've got Henrietta here from GWCT talking about them. Um, we've brought some of our Peak District um, habitats from the moorlands, showing that low intensity prescribed burning, um, that it doesn't scorch off the landscapes like some people um, might say it does. Uh, we can show the growth of sphagnum, cranberry, uh, the dwarf shrubs underneath. Um, it is just flashing the vegetation off at the top and for water retention in the ground for biodiversity um, and pulling in carbon, burning is actually um, very good, but not the wildfires. Some of wildfires are very destructive, but all fire isn't the same. So a low intensity managed burn, you know, is going to be good for the environment. Yeah, the sphagnum moss retaining uh, water, but of course this will burn when it's dry. So although sphagnum is good, it won't stop wildfires. We need to manage vegetation. So one thing I'm really excited about is that we've got some new additions to our taxidermy. Um, apart from, you know, stoats and weasels, uh, cock and uh, hen red grouse, we've also got our stoats and weasels mounted uh, with the damage that they can do to our ground nesting birds, which is why we manage the predators on the moors. It isn't just about grouse shooting. Um, it is the blueprint for a sustainable moorland. Um, we're protecting some of the rarest habitats on the earth. The Peak District Moreland Group, we've been running uh, cameras for the last six years and we've got evidence showing this. You know, we need to back up with evidence which we're getting from cameras. We've got a stoat here, um, just about to take this snipe off a nest. And then we've got this weasel with a golden plover chick in its mouth. And a quite a scary circus mink here, which shouldn't be here. Um, they've been released and are having a detrimental effect on our native wildlife. So, you know, we feel as gamekeepers the responsible thing that we need to do is to manage the generalist pr predators. Um, it isn't just about grouse, but it's reducing the pressure for all ground nesting birds that we found on our moorlands. And as we've seen these red listed species, the fledging numbers are increasing um, on managed moorlands as opposed to areas that aren't managed. So, it's all good. Proudly sponsored by Premier Gunn.